At Danesfield School, we're looking at remote learning and using Microsoft Teams to plan and deliver lessons online. We will be able to register the children daily and teach live lessons with the ability for questioning from the children, to set tasks and assignments for the children to complete, and teachers will be able to mark work and give written and verbal feedback. The first step is to create your class team. You can access Teams either via office.com and clicking on the Teams icon or by downloading the Teams application. Once Teams is opened, you need to click on the top right hand corner on the button that says join or create team. Next, you need to click on create team. Then you need to choose the type of team you're going to create. And in this case, we're going to create a team for our class. I'm going to give my team a name and this is going to be my team for the whole of year three. Now I need to add the students to my team. Now at Danesfield School, all of our children have Office 365 accounts, so I can just begin typing their names and then click their name to add them to the team. Once I've added all the children, I then need to click add before moving on to adding any members of staff I want to add to the team, where I'll click on teachers, search for a name and add them to the team. When you click close, you'll be taken to your new team where you'll see a menu down the side where at the moment you have one option which says general. This is your channels and there's also a menu across the top. These are your tabs. You might want to add new channels for different subject areas and to do that, Click on the three dots next to the team name and click on add channel. You'll see at the bottom of the screen that you're able to start a new conversation. This function allows everyone in the team to write messages which will be shown on the post tab of the general channel. If you'd like to disable this function for children, click on the three dots next to your team name, click on manage team, then click on members and guests where you'll find a list of all the children in your team. Here, you'll be able to mute students from the conversation either individually or as a whole class. You can also disable this function for each channel. Do this by clicking on the three dots next to the channel name, click Manage Channel, and then click Only Owners Can Post Messages. You'll be able to upload and store documents and resources in your team by clicking the Files tab at the top of the page. To keep your files organised, click New to create new folders. Members of your team will be able to access and edit these documents at the same time, making it a great tool for collaborative learning. It's also a great place to store your resources and documents for future assignments for your children. Good luck setting up your team and look out for our next videos on setting up assignments and registering and teaching remotely.